Hello and welcome back. In our previous video, we looked at using multiple physics in COMSOL to model the diffusive mixing of two species in laminar flow. In this video, we'll extend that analysis by adding in an advective mixing component to that flow through the inclusion of interior structures in our channel. To do that, we'll go back to our geometry, selecting the geometry tab here, zoom in on the main channel for a T-channel mixer, and then define thin structures along the channel to partially obstruct flow. Once we've done that, we'll go to our materials, selecting PDMS, setting that to be all of our boundaries, and then once again, manually deselecting our T-channel mixer's inlets, outlet, and inner junction leaving selected the interior structures. Then we'll move on to laminar flow. Right clicking, selecting interior wall, all boundaries, and then deselecting the T-channel junction. Once we've done that, move on to transport diluted species. Once again, right click, navigate to interior surfaces, and then define a thin impermeable barrier all boundaries, deselect the T-channel junction, and then move on to building our mesh. Once that's done, we can click time-dependent study and recompute. All right, and once that's finished running, you'll notice right away a starkly different velocity profile as the liquid, as the fluid is forced through a smaller channel size, um, as well as a stark difference in pressure with large buildups at different points along the channel. Clicking on the 1D plot group, we can also see how this will markedly affect uh, the concentration profiles along the channel width. And looking at the animation, of how the concentration evolves with time. We can develop a qualitative understanding of how these interior structures will influence mixing and how they could be used to shorten the length scale otherwise needed for diffusion-dominated mixing. This concludes this tutorial on advective and diffusive mixing of dilute species in COMSOL. Thank you.